It's you, it's me, and it's time for an Air City Pack Pro review. We did a review on the Air City Pack regular about a year ago. And let me tell you something, you guys love that pack. So can the Air City Pack Pro match the Air City Pack original? What are the key differences between the two? Do those differences rationalize the $60 increased price tag for the Pro? And what is this bag intended for? By the end of this review, you'll know whether or not this bag is the perfect pack for you. And if it's not, I'll make some alternative recommendations for packs that are similar, but have a couple of key differences and might better suit your specific needs. Let's kick this review off talking about the overall gist of the Air City Pack Pro. What's your deal, man? As the name suggests, it's a city pack. If you're looking for a hiking pack or an outdoors pack, go elsewhere, because this is not gonna be the review for you. And you can just see it's got that city vibe. First of all, because it's made from air, one of the biggest backpack manufacturers on the planet, and they specialize in urban gear. Gear that's got a real sleek look, a dark, mysterious vibe. High quality materials, I'm talking YKK zips, Cordura ballistic nylon, super cushiony back panel. But this guy comes in at 24 liters, which to some is a weird size. It's a bit big for an everyday carry, Usually I like to go somewhere between 15 and 20 liters, but it's also kind of small for a one bag pack, which usually goes around 25 to 30 liters. But I guess it depends what you're looking for. Because to me, this is either the perfect, like everything bag. It's a bit big for EDC, but you can carry it around in your day to day. And it might be a bit tight for your weekend travels, but you can absolutely make it work for that as well. Or maybe you just carry more stuff in your everyday. Or maybe in your day to day, you just carry a lot more gear and you need that extra space. That's who this bag is perfect for. As of recording, the ballistic nylon version has three colors, black, gray, and olive. And there's also an X-Pack version that also comes in black. It comes in weighing a, an impressive 2.6 pounds, not too heavy. This is the bag when it's empty. And this is the bag when it's full. I'm gonna pack this bag out throughout the entire review so you can see exactly what it fits. This is what the pack looks when it's worn on me. For reference, I'm five foot eight. I'm gonna say the comfort, like all air products, is pretty fantastic. We got really nice padding on the back panel and the shoulder straps and a decent amount of ventilation. We'll talk about that two sections from now. And for all that you see, as of recording, the Air City Pack Pro costs 209 USD for the ballistic nylon version and 235 USD for the X-Pack version. And we do ask, if you're going to make a purchase or just wanna find out more details about the Air City Pack Pro, we do ask that you do so with the first link in the description below. That link makes sure that you get the best price and it also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel. Thank you very much. All right, time to get in depth. Let's start with the front of the Air City Pack Pro. First up, let's talk Cordura Ballistic Nylon. Ballistic Nylon is a rugged and durable material, highly weather resistant, highly waterproof, but it's smooth and nice to the touch. And it's fucking sexy. It's just got that urban sort of a look and feel to it. And this material has become sort of a staple of air products. Air and Cordura Ballistic Nylon go together like tacos and tequila. They're just always rocking Cordura Ballistic Nylon. It's a big part of their brand. But air is also known for simplicity. On the front, there's not a lot going on. You just got a bunch of Ballistic Nylon and then a YKK PU coated waterproof zip slashing through the center, which in my opinion gives a really nice aesthetic. Let's talk about that zipper. So being a PU coated zipper, air uses these big old chunky zips. What size are you? I'm gonna guess number eight. It's a 10, it's a 10, I was close. And a size 10 zip is a chunky zip. And chunky zips can be a little bit harder to pull, especially when they got this PU coating. So it's not like it's difficult. You ain't gonna have to hit the gym to open this compartment, but it just takes a little extra to sort of get this guy where you need it. And opening this compartment is easier with Air's standard zipper poles. Nice and easy, just pop it open, good to go. This pocket does not extend to the top, it's only from the zip down. And there's no additional organization. It's just sort of a basic pocket throw all for quicker access type gear. For me, I might put my phone there, Bluetooth headphones. And if I'm traveling, I might put like my passport or my passport wallet in there. The pocket's a bit tight. You're not gonna fit bulkier gear in there, but for flatter things, phone, passport, it's really ideal. You got a little bit of expansion, but overall it's not meant to be a pocket where you're putting your bigger bits of gear. And on either side of this compartment, you have these little nylon tabs and you're like, what the hell are those for? 
And those just give you a little extra access point and leverage when you're opening and closing this compartment. It's a little touch, but it goes a long way. Now you might be like, but Aaron, if this pocket's only in the bottom half, what's in the top half? I will show you. And we have actually the first difference between the Air City Pack Original and the Pro, which is this pocket right here, which I like, I'm a big fan. Let me tell you why. Because it's super convenient and there's not too much going on. It's quite minimalist. We've got this pocket right here and then a zip pocket, which interesting is like, a half mesh pocket. This part you can't see because it's covered by this pocket, but this part you can see and it's got mesh and a really nice stretchy silky mesh too, might I add. The pocket runs down to about yay. And this is a good spot for things that you want semi quick access to. I wouldn't say super quick access because think about it. This front pocket that we just talked about right here, you can actually grab your gear while you're still wearing the pack, right? So it's a good spot for your headphones. Put your headphones back in, zip it up, onward. But this top pocket, it's still accessible while you're wearing it, but not quite as easy. It's, it's, it's just not meant to be a quick access pocket. Unless you're flying. At 24 liters, this is a nice one bag travel pack. So when the backpack is on the ground in the seat in front of you, you just go on down and if voila, this is right here for all of your stuff. So it's a really nice access for when you're flying. So that's why I might put things that I need when I'm on a flight in this pocket. Good spot for a snack, spare battery, small notebook and a pen. And as to where this pocket on the bottom doesn't have a lot of expansion, this pocket actually does. So if you got like bulkier headphones, you know, over the head headphones, that could be a good spot for them. Or it could even be a good spot for like a power adapter and sunglasses. Zip it up. It should be noted too, that this compartment, the zipper is not PU coated. So as to where this one has that water resistant PU coating on it, this one does not. It's not the end of the world, but if you get caught in a rainstorm, it's something to be aware of. And finally, if you're into super subtle, minimal type branding, you'll love Air. You don't have a logo on here anywhere. No, Supreme, it's just Air, right there. Next up, let's talk about the middle of the Air City Pack Pro. Side number one, water bottle holder. I think it's a fine size. For all of you who travel or use extremely large water bottles, you're gonna have some problems fitting it in here. This is a 16 ounce Columbia water bottle. It's a good fit, a tight fit, but you're not gonna fit like a big ass Nalgene in here. Definitely not. A little north of that, we have a Duraflex D-ring. Um, this is good to add like a carabiner on if you wanna maybe secure water bottle. You can clip it on or just carry things externally on the side of your bag. Other side, something quite cool. And another big difference between the Air City Pack Original and the City Pack Pro is this little side pocket which this guy is a big fan of. Here's why. I love side pockets. While the front pocket is accessible, you know, you kind of do one of these to grab your headphones. Side pockets are super accessible. Swing it around. I mean, it doesn't get more accessible than that. Air awesomeness added a key leash, a key ring holder to this pocket. So for instance, you got your keys, you can go ahead and clip them on there. And anytime you are going in and out of your apartment, flat, house, mansion, villa, wherever you live, locking and unlocking that door has just gotten so much easier because your keys are right there. There's no additional pockets inside this pocket and I like it because it's big enough as to where you could put a few other things. So for instance, it might be a good spot for your wallet. This is the Frenchie Co wallet, small, slim. It's not, it might not feel like a huge dad wallet, but a smaller, more modern and sophisticated wallet. Fits easy peasy. And then, just like your keys, your wallet is super accessible whenever you have to pay for something. Freaking love it. Let's talk about the top. Check out this handle. It is beefy. It's a big old beefy handle. I like big old beefy handles. It's got a nice look to it. It's super comfortable, well padded, a nice sort of finish on it is where it's got a little shine. You're not gonna really carry your pack like this too much or too often but it just helps to give you an extra grab point, right? A little bit more leverage to maneuver it. You know, maybe if you're going overhead storage, pull it out. It's just nice to have. And it should be noted, there's no side handles on either side of this pack. So you only got this top handle to work with. Next to the top handle, we have this zip right here, which gives you access to what I like to call a sunglasses pocket, because I usually put my sunglasses in a pocket such as this. Reason being, look at this material. First of all, it's super well padded. And second of all, it's very soft. 
like a newborn kitten. It's just, you just want, you just want to pet it. It's just so nice. But that softness also comes with like an anti-scratch property. So in case you don't want to put your glasses in here, you don't need the big bulky case and you're like, air. Oh, I don't have glasses in there. Where'd my glasses go? Got them. And you're like, air. I trust thee with my glasses. You can go ahead and put your glasses in there and they're gonna be secure. They're gonna be safe. For sure. Main compartment. You ready? I'm ready. Two big old YKK zips. No PU coating. It's interesting. We got some PU coating, but then no PU coating, but then some PU coating. It's just the airway. It's not something that I lose sleep about because, you know, I don't really get caught in too many monsoons. It does happen when you're traveling through Southeast Asia, right? But it's not like I'm walking in the monsoon for 20 to 30 minutes. I'm usually finding shelter as fast as I can. And even if the zips aren't waterproof, it's not just like, every single last drop's going to immediately attack your bag and destroy everything, you got some time, right? You've got the zips, you've got the ballistic nylon, and it's waterproof where it's most important, your tech compartment and this front compartment, so I wouldn't lose any sleep about it. Main compartment, super minimal. One, two pockets on the opening flap, and then you got this big old section right here, and that's it. And I like this because yet again, we're going in that minimalism travel sort of style. You can organize a couple of things here and you know, just sort of pop the rest in and you're good to go on with your travels. This is a good spot for tech gear, I think, bulkier tech gear, especially because it's, yet again, elastic, stretchy mesh pocket. Me thinks a good spot for a laptop charger. Perfect. I'm not crazy about this pocket. I feel like, Air included this beautiful elastic -y mesh here. It's like I would have liked it here as well because mesh is not just like awesome to feel and it's not just expandable. It also just is see-through so you know what you put where and where you put what. But if you're on a small couple day trip, it could be a good spot for some socks, undies, some, you know, other bits of gear, umbrella, nice fit there. Now it should be mentioned that this is a clamshell style opening, which is great because you can open it like this. It's a lay flat main compartment, which just means that you're not digging around for your things. It opens up like a suitcase, which is really ideal when you're traveling because there's stuff all over the place. And I'm just a big fan of this, especially for lighter one bag travel. But how much stuff can it fit? Now, it should be noted, I've been talking a lot about traveling with this bag, but in all reality, it's an EDC. It's an everyday carry. That's what Air designed it for, for people who got a lot of tech gear. You know, you're going back, back and forth to the co-working space, to the office, to the coffee shop. So let's pack it out with some tech stuff and see how it holds up. I got a Bluetooth keyboard. I'm gonna throw that in the back section. I got a tech pouch for like batteries and hard drives. I'm gonna throw that in the bottom. Another tech pouch, lots of wires in this guy. Uh, this one's from Nomadic, this one's from Evergoods. Backup hard drive. Stick that in there. A small phone tripod, throw it on the side. Mouse wrist pad on the side as well. Backup battery, I'm gonna throw that with the laptop charger. And a jacket in case it gets cold. Let's close it up. So you can see, we got a lot of awkward, bulky, weird shaped tech gear. And it's holding up perfectly. And it kind of stands by its, <laughs> not very well, but kind of. It might stand a little more securely when we put a laptop in the back compartment. We'll find out in just a sec. Now, let's talk about the back of the Air City Pack Pro. Tech compartment. Yet again, YKK PU coated zipper. The tech compartment only goes from here all the way around to here. So it's not a full clamshell opening style like the main compartment is. It's more like a slot. But most importantly, the zippers are PU coated, which is essential for your laptop, just in case you do get caught in that monsoon. And one cool thing about air zippers that I forgot to mention is that they sort of have like an, like an anti-theft mechanism, not like a vault secure, but you can go ahead and tie these zips into each other and they get sort of stuck together. Like I said, will not completely stop a very good thief, but it just gives you an extra measure of security in the times that you need it. And then in the tech compartment, we've got a really padded laptop area. Air always takes their laptop areas very seriously, which I seriously appreciate. Nice padding, your laptop's gonna be safe, and there's a bit of a false bottom. That means that the bottom of this laptop compartment is slightly elevated, which means that if you drop your pack, 
hope everything's okay. Uh, your laptop will be protected. I don't know about the other stuff, but the laptop will be good. It fits up to a 16 inch laptop, which means my 13 inch MacBook Pro will slide on in with plenty of room to spare. And there's another pocket right here where you can access this little compartment, but notice it's getting tight, right? So because of the cutoff here and it's not fully clamshell style opening, like getting to that pocket is tough. And this bag is packed out. Like you're not gonna really utilize a lot of that extra space. You might be able to throw a tablet or an iPad in there depending on how packed out the main compartment is. But like it, it works, like let me show you with this notebook. You can go ahead and slide that in. It's just, it just takes a little bit of finagling because you're gonna get caught in that extra pocket. Oh, wait for it. There you go. It's in. We're good. Overall, it's a protected laptop and tech compartment, but it's, it's tight. And it's just so important to protect that laptop, right? Because your laptop's gonna cost three, four, five, ten times more than your actual backpack costs. And if you didn't know, we're actually building our own backpack here at Nomads Nation, and it's going to have a next level laptop compartment as well. And not only are we building our own backpack, but we're actually documenting the entire process so you can see what it takes to build a game-changing backpack from the ground up. If you want a behind the scenes look at us building this game-changing backpack, and you want to be able to vote on some of the key features, be sure to click on the second link in the description below. That'll sign you up to our email list and you'll get to vote. I hope to see you there. The project has been awesome so far. So we did the tech compartment. Let's talk about what's going on on the back panel, starting with the shoulder straps. I'm gonna keep this brief when it comes to the shoulder straps in the back panel. I'm just a big fan. I've reviewed so many air backpacks at this point and they're so consistently good. And it, I would say that it's, it's a style that fits my preferences. I like bags that are a little bit more cushiony, that have a little bit more padding to them because I find them more comfortable. But with that comes extra bulk. You know, these are some beefy shoulder straps. Like think like compared to Peak Design, they're a lot thinner of shoulder straps, which makes less weight, less bulk. So just, you know, depends on the person. But for me, this is a city pack where you're gonna be carrying a lot of tech gear. It might be heavy. So that extra padding really goes a long way in just making a more comfortable experience and taking less pressure on your, putting more pressure, or taking less, your back's gonna be in a better position. The straps themselves have sort of this diagonal cut. Like it's not like a cheap like Jansport backpack where it's just like whoosh. This diagonal cut just makes it a comfier fit. Works more from an ergonomic perspective. The bag comes with a sternum strap, which is magnetic. I don't really feel like you need them on a 24 liter backpack. But now that I've loaded this bag up with a lot of heavy tech gear, I gotta admit like having the sternum strap, it helps. It takes the weight off of the bottom of your back, redistributes it more towards your torso area. The magnetic connection is really satisfying to use and very strong. And the sternum strap is also adjustable, so if you like to wear it a little bit lower, you can do one of those or you can put it higher. It takes a little finagling, but you'll get used to it. The good news is once it's in place, you'll probably just end up keeping it there. Adjusting the bag's shoulder straps is pretty easy as well. If you like it a little more looser of a fit, me, I'm a tighter kind of a fit of a guy, which sucks in some ways because it always means that I have this excess dangle, but Worry not, dangle not. You have these nylon web loops right here, which help keep the dangle nice and tidy. You just go ahead and tuck that into place, slide it in on both sides. And now we have a much more seamless travel experience where you're less likely to just get caught on things, which is super crucial when you're traveling around in a city. I live in Hong Kong, I know the life. This is what you want. And finally, on the back panel, really well padded on the back panel, just like the shoulder straps. Love this material, it's got a little bit of ventilation there. And then you got this cut right down the middle, which also helps with ventilation. It just makes the backpack wearing experience more breathable, and it helps to fight back sweat. And then we got a luggage pass-through holder right here. If you are traveling and you got a luggage, you pop up the handle, go ahead and slide this into place. It is on its side, which isn't always ideal. Sorry, laptop. I always prefer a luggage pass-through holder that's this way, so then the sliding on and sliding off process and travel is just a little bit more seamless, but it still gets the job done. Let's talk about the pros and the cons of the Air City Pack Pro. Pro number one, for the price, you're getting some really great materials. Cordura Ballistic Nylon, YKK Zips, Duraflex Hardware, and it's just got some badass materials on it. Pro number two, super comfy wearing experience. And pro number three, they added this little side pocket and I just love it. It's just that, it's that one little thing this pack needed for city travel, right? Don't wanna take the pack off, slide it around, grab your keys, grab your wallet, zip it up, zip it on, good to go. 
But on the flip side, I got a few cons. It's hard to make cons with Air products, but I can conjure up a few. Con number one, that laptop compartment got pretty tight pretty fast. Con number two is I wish that this bottom pocket used the same material as the top pocket, this mesh. And con number three is we got some PU coated zips, we've got some non PU coated zips. I think for consistency, it would have been nice just for this guy to be decked out with all PU coated zippers. So you're looking at this bag and you're like, I like it. Count me in. I'm getting one. If that's the case, we do ask that you make your purchase using the first link in the description. That link makes sure that you get the best price and it also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel. Thank you so much. But let's say you're not quite sold. You're close, you're still here, but you're like, I wonder if there's a similar backpack that better suits my specific needs. Let me give you some alternative recommendations. Alternative recommendation number one is gonna be the Air City Pack Original. This is gonna be for you if you're just totally digging the Air City Pack Pro, but you don't need all that extra space. 24 liters is quite big for an everyday carry. The City Pack Original is 14 liters, a lot slimmer, not as bulky. To learn more about the Air City Pack Original, take a look at the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. Alternative recommendation number two is going to be the Nomadic Backpack. This is a backpack that's actually 20 liters, so smaller EDC, but it can expand to 24 liters for when you need that bit of extra space. It's great for tech gear, it's got a ton of organization, and to watch the full review, you can find it in the description below. And alternative recommendation number three is going to be the Evergood CPL24. Just like the City Pack Pro is 24 liters, the Evergood CPL24 is 24 liters, but it's got kind of a different style to it and a different just design. It's got a side laptop compartment, a bit bigger and maybe more organized main compartment, and a really cool front slash side access pocket. To learn more about the Evergood CPL24, navigate on down low and you'll find a link to our full review. If you're looking for an everyday carry backpack and you wanna know what other options are on the market, and you also wanna know our criteria for sort of picking the best EDC backpacks, be sure to watch this video. We break down our favorite everyday carry backpacks and give you a ton of information about how to choose the best everyday carry backpack for your needs. My name's Aaron, this is Nomads Nation, and we'll catch you next time.